There we go, beautiful, in neutral. Now I'm turning the tires. What's up, mother truckers? Check it out. My two overlanders are here. Number one, my delivery truck. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Were you one of the 400,000 people at the time of this filming that saw a video I did called The Delivery, where the boys got stuck in the middle of a river and then decided to go on a beer break and call it quits for the rest of the day? That sucked. Uh, at that time, I didn't have anything set up to go and recover him. Look at this. This is my second Overlander. Both of these are basically Mercedes Zetros trucks, uh, six by six, which means all three axles are powered. Uh, both of them have have these uh, awesome snorkels on it which are basically just for looks right because they're electric but you can also make them into hydraulics as well they've got one of these that's a hydraulic dump truck but be forewarned these things are super expensive back here look at this this is a triple axle trailer shout out to my buddy back in Alberta Doug who actually may still have one of my primal RC raminators that I had given off to him he built me a nice truck and trailer sent me off with the wizard you guys have not seen this. I've been keeping this for a special occasion where it's an adjustable fifth wheel, triple axle, wood deck trailer that's got a dovetail on the back. Look at this. All the way across the top, I went in, installed a uh, double uh, motor winch on top that runs down here. Also, the light system is hooked up. And I figured, just because I wanted to get out and try this so I can try it when I'm out uh, on the creek, I've set this up, whereas it's a two-stage transmission out of the gate. I should have put it into like um, like a neutral position. Like, oh, there's neutral. You know how lucky it is for me to have found neutral? You'll be like, but Medic, you just put the dial in the middle. I've got it set up so tight that it's very rare to get neutral. So there. This is a good place. I got a little bit of reverse. But I want to get this up on the trailer without actually any ramps. We'll get it in front of the truck. In low gear right now. You can see there's the pistol grip radio. Shows you the size of this truck. This truck is excellent at pulling my heavy excavators. Leaf spring suspension. Those are real hydraulic tanks on the side. You can hook up like a hydraulic arm or anything you want to it. Dun dun, it's super long. Now, has Loading Kings taught me anything about backing up? Well, I am doing it one handed. Excuses. Let's go ahead and line it straight up so we can get that winch cable right in front. All right, perfect. Now I attach this winch line to uh, my six channel and when it's on the center, it's in a stop position, but when I go to the left, it goes in and when I go to the right, it comes out. And that's just by a turn of the dial. So I don't have free spool on this one. I'm just going to go ahead and let it spool out. I did put 100 pound test line on here, so fishing line. It's not the original line. Now just as an experiment, there are these hooks here. I'm actually going to wrap under and behind, kind of like this. And then I'm going to clip on and cinch it towards the middle of where the fair lead would be right like that okay so she rolled back a bit on me that's okay but you can see the winch line going straight up to the top where it's bolted to the frame and then it goes up over the pipes where i moved it to give it a little bit of a better angle and i want to see if we can actually get this to roll in here yeah, i hear you you're ready okay in and is it going to lift the front? Oh, not yet. Hmm, looks like I should have gone back a little bit. If I let it back out, it rolls because we're on a bit of a hill. I can change the pipe. Right there. 
Okay, good. Now I got it up on the angle. Okay, so reversing at the same time it's coming in. Oh. Oh, popped off. Uh oh. This has happened a few times to some people. Oh, shit. It's getting faster. Uh oh. That helps slow it down a bit. Oh, shit. Wonderful. Now, clearly, I should have been hooking it into the axle, but I figured if I hooked it to the bumper, it was going to be more entertaining. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, a real rescue attempt. A fake rescue attempt turned into a real one. That's what all our training is paid off. Oh, fuck. That's off the trailer. I don't think I can put that in gear to stop it. Okay, so that's definitely a problem. We only, thank God we have a triple axle trailer. the other side. Winch line out! We'll wrap around the axle this time, get it up higher, get that nose higher, and then the, uh, the plastic bumper won't be an issue. You guys thought it was metal, didn't you? <laughs> Hi, B. Good to see you. I love bees. Yeah, baby. Lift that axle up first. But not around the steering rod. Now, for all the towing fanatics that are out there that are literally dying right now from your OCD, I want you to know I've completely done this on purpose, and I hope you've enjoyed the show so far, because this is about doing everything you've always wanted to do at work, but knew was wrong. Kind of like a show we do called Loading Kings. Have you ever seen it? You can check it out on YouTube. Okay, so here we go. Even though we lost one of the axles, I've got the trailer blocked. Now we're lifting from the axle housing right here. Yes, we're still using the silly pipes, but I think you'll understand why. And, and even though it's kind of silly, it's fun just for RC to try stuff all, all the time, eh? So let's go ahead and uh, start turning this in here. Yeah, good. It's pulling, it's pulling. Dual motor winch, 100 pound test line, and right there, good. So there we go. It's back up again. Looks like I can back the trailer in. I should have done it a little bit soon, uh, a little bit closer. So we'll pull the block out if it was only that easy. We'll back up a bit here. And then we're gonna go ahead and do that again. Oh, the bumper is hitting, hilarious. There it is. There we go, almost there. There we go, beautiful in neutral. Now I'm turning the tires. Winch is pulling. Is it going to be able to pull there? I kind of figured we were going to power out at the six volts. That's okay. I'm going to actually just inch the truck ahead here a little bit. Oh, nice. Putting it in low, locking it up. Oh, still unlocked. There we go. There we go. There we go. And right there. Go ahead and try to winch this up again. Running out of power on that battery. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm gonna put it in gear just for shits and giggles to try to help us out here. Drive forward a little bit. There we go, there we go.
Alright, get that out of the way for a moment. Heck, we might as well just trailer it like that. I know that the Department of Transportation wouldn't have an issue with this. Nobody online would have an issue with, with loading like this. Heck, the back tires, everything looks fine. My hazard lights are on. What, what more can you say? Other than my hazard lights are, are red. It should be orange, and I think only one side is working. Yep. Yep, the internet should enjoy this a great deal. Back to the shop. Right, you guys are right. It wasn't worth getting a ticket. I pulled over, got everything done right. Going to need a stronger winch, though. If I'm going to be carrying a, an overlander with an overlander, but one overlander has a sea can, while the other overlander is pulling a, a, a dual axle trailer, you know, then that one at overlander has got to be exceptionally strong with a great winch on there, just in case the other overlander uh, can't go overland anymore. So, there you go, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed today's uh, look at RC insanity. It was an RC adventure for me, especially when my truck started to roll away. So cool. I love this hobby. There's just so much about it I enjoy. The detail, the fun, the imagination, the mechanics, the creativity, the electronics. Like, what isn't there to love about it? Except for the money, the frustration, the heartache, the incredible want. <laughs> beep beep. Thanks for tuning in guys. Thank you.